Okay, so what we've got here is Tycho's crater on the moon. Okay, and then we have the diameter from approximately here all the way to there. I don't know if you can see my cursor. So straight through across diameter from there to there. And then we have the circumference right the way right around. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to overlay that one on top of Google Earth. That's all built on the math, science is math. Okay, so we go from there. And then we'll bump up Google Earth. And there it is, Google Earth. What we're going to do is we're going to put on And what we'll do is just turn that around a bit. Um, there you go. So we're going to put on where we're going to place this image. And that image there is an 86 kilometer diameter. So we can see that the diameter of Tycho's crater is 86 kilometers. Okay, 86 kilometers. Um, I need to do a bit of math because I'm not very bright when it comes to math. Um, that's probably why I'm intelligent, because I'm not educated. Okay, so we've got the diameter there of 86 kilometers, which will give us a circumference of 270 kilometers. Okay, I think that's right. All right, so, so what I've done is I've done a circle I just go to um, measurements there you can see that the measurements for this uh, circle that I've done this path is 270 kilometers okay so there's your 270 kilometers circumference and then if we add on an, uh, the Tycho image which is that and you would say that's kind of in the right place would you agree with that okay give or take 10 20 miles um right so we can see down here at the bottom the i um elevation about 200 well 75 miles 47 miles that's the uh height the i elevation it's down here i don't know if you can see that bottom right hand corner so if we come back up okay that's um and then we're 111 miles high okay that's what we observe in the sky. We can see Tycho's crater, you know, you can zoom straight into it and see it very clearly. Okay, so if we come back and we'll say about 500, about well, 551 miles high. Okay, now remember the moon is over 200 and I think it's 238,000 miles. We'll check that in a second. Um, so that's 551 miles high. Let's take it back to a thousand miles high. So we're 1133 miles high. Okay, I'm going to turn off the red ring because, uh, yeah, you can see that it just kind of gets in the way. So we'll turn off the red ring, but you can still see Tycho's crater. Okay, and we're, we're, we're only 1,000. Now we've got 237,000 miles to go. You can see where I'm going with this. So let's take it, take it all the way back to. Wow, let's, let, let's, should we go 10,000? Well, there's 11,000, 11,000 miles high, and we can just see Tycho's Crater. That's not kind of what we observe, is it? I mean, we kind of observe Tycho's Crater to be quite big. Okay, this is what we observe. Now, and this is what we get. And this is what we observe. And this is what we get. You see the problem? Okay, well that's only 11,000 miles high. Let's go back a bit more. Not sure how far more we can go back. Well, there you go. Um, just straighten up a little bit. Put England and it was Devon that it was over, De Devon and Somerset. So we're 30, as high as we can possibly go, 37, oops, 37,363 miles high. Can you see Tycho's crater? I've still got another 200,000 miles to go. 
can you see what the problem is? As I say, science and math and the pseudoscience nonsense, we've been told lies. I've got 200,000 miles to go. Can you see where the problem's going to lie if I come back even more? Okay, this is based on Google Earth. And maybe Google aren't that bright. Maybe they've made massive mistakes. But 200,000 miles worth of a mistake? I think not. I think what you've been told is lies. So if I zoom back in, you can see, you can just about see a dot of where it is. Look at that, eh? Tycho's Crater. Yeah, we're being told lies.